welcome to the 2020-2021 Commonwealth Art Show. I am Kyla Toomey and I teach ceramics and sculpture. I'm Caleb Kolpitz. I teach drawing and painting, printmaking, and life drawing. And I'm Samantha Nieto and I teach beginning and advanced photography. We wish that you could all be here, but we hope that you enjoy a virtual tour and seeing some of the art that was made during this challenging year and the successes that all of our students have had. This work here is the drawing and painting work. I have uh, two levels, beginning and advanced. In the beginning course, students uh, work on the foundations of drawing and painting, starting from light and shadow, perspective, massing and form, line work, and then as the course moves forward, students start working on more individual projects. This is an example of a drawing and painting one project. Uh, this group of paintings, each one is made by a different student. It's an observed abstraction project. So just to start to get students to think about the work that they're making um, kind of separate from representation. Uh, they zoom in really closely on an object. So some students were zooming in on gravel, some students were zooming in on leaves, but the goal really is to get to the point where you can't tell what the object was from the painting and it becomes more of a, of a color field project and just kind of playing with composition and color without trying to make like a perfect drawing of a teapot or a perfect drawing of a bottle. It's really pushing them to think uh, more just about the material and less about the image that they're creating so that they can get excited about process over product. Over in this corner, we have a pair project. This is just as students are learning about color theory, they're painting one object that at first glance looks like a monochromatic object. Um, but the longer you look at it, the more colors you can start to pick out. This work on this wall is all printouts of work that students have been making from home. So of course, with this year being what it is, um, some students are fully remote, but they're still working really hard during their class time and they're making everything from drawings to paintings to sculptures and animation. One student is making a full feature length animation of The Hobbit made out of clay. Some students requested to have paint sent to their houses and uh, are working on their painting skills while other students wanted to focus more on drawing. Here we have the printmaking class, which was pretty small this year. It was just three kids. Some students were working fully remotely, so they were working pretty much just with lino cut, where they're carving into linoleum and printing on paper. So it's pretty easy to do just about anywhere, and the materials are relatively cheap and available. Um, other students were able to come in and work on intaglio prints on metal, um, and they were able to get some printing time. This is the life drawing course. Students, in a normal year, students are mostly working on figure drawing from live, uh, live models. We were able to have models come in and sit at a safe distance this year. They obviously had to be masked, but we, were, we do work from nude models so that students can really dig into anatomy and learn about it. It's a pretty unique experience for a high schooler to be able to have. Um, so I was happy to be able to continue doing that this year. In beginning photography, we start with traditional film-based photography and you learn the basics functions of a 35 millimeter manual camera, how to use its settings creatively, and how to develop your black and white film in the darkroom. We learn the basics in Lightroom and Photoshop, and I introduce you to the alternative processes. In advanced photography, you learn to define your own photographic interest and vision. You have many photographic choices to pursue from continuing to refine black and white darkroom procedures to exploring the many aspects of digital photography to working with alternative processes. Mm -hmm. 
one of my favorite assignments is the final portfolio. It's an opportunity for all of my students to create a body of work that is meaningful to them and showcases all that they have learned throughout the school year. One of my favorite processes to work on with my students is the gold leaf inkjet printing process. Um, something I really like about it is that we spend many days just creating the layer so that we can adhere the image onto it itself. I really love the delicacy of the process. I think that's beautiful. And then just how striking the image appears um, through the tones that come through that. In the sculpture classes, students work sort of with any materials that they could find when they were at home, took some things home. I asked them to sort of mine their own lives for source material, which led to the using of Abraham Lincoln. Some students continued work from previous years, like the cats, which is a multi-year project. Another thing that we worked on this year was the communal fruit bowl. This year was divided in my mind into sort of the time in the classroom and the time away from the classroom. And in the classroom, the students were working sort of predominantly in the ways that they always work, on the wheel, coil building, slab building, pinching some pots, having a really normal year when they were in the studio. And so you can see sort of a progression of pots where students start sort of with simpler forms, just learning the mechanics of the wheel and throwing pottery um, or just sort of building things and as the year goes on students start to sort of develop more of a sense of style um, how they want to sort of layer glazes or start to decorate the surface of pots or um, work smaller or larger some students sort of choose to work with lidded forms or move on to mugs, bowls, nesting sets. There's sort of a whole variety of forms that students have been working with. As the year went on, students made sort of different pieces at home. I thought really hard about how to send materials home with students that would be smaller pieces that they could work on, working decoratively, making tools that they could use as they came back into the studio. And so I'm just gonna introduce a couple of the projects that sort of were born of that sort of dual space of working at home and then coming into the studio. And so one of the projects I developed was um, a tile project working with sort of a couple of histories. First was an assignment sort of working with tile um, and some arts and crafts history, but also pairing that with like Andy Warhol's images where he would play with color. So it was sort of the same image in a different color. And so tile, the students took home a tile to carve that then they could make multiples of when they came back to school. Another project that we developed working with Delft tile and the history of blue and white and ceramics. And so each student was given a tile or two which have this corner filigree and then a central image. So you can see that throughout these repeated. Again, it was this idea that we were making things while we were apart and bringing them back together once we were in school. 